Radio Friends on this Friday, October the 18th, and it's a, it's a perfect segment we have for you on a Friday morning because I have Yvonne Matthews and uh, Dr. Mabel Grimes with us today. And I always enjoy having these two ladies together. Uh, we go back to the Pepper and Friends days of this Yvonne for so many times, and both of you were on doing poetry. Yes. And I, I like their sassiness and their wit. <laughs> and uh, I think the last time you were on Radio Friends, both of you did a poem together. And I said, come mm -hmm. on, come on back and, and do it again. But yes. Yvonne waltzed in here this morning and said, well, I've got news for you. We're going to do something. And by the way, that hat that you have on is beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. but I, Just for you, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to kbia.org, click on talk shows and radio friends, and you can see Yvonne's special hat. Uh, <laughs> is this the camera? <laughs> that's it, right there. But anyway, Yvonne waltzed in here today, and she said, well, I, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, you two are not going to read poetry together, mm -hmm. but Mabel is going to do a a poem herself, but she's going to do it in dialect. Dialect. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, actually, Paul, it's written in Negro dialect, and there are it's, it's a skill to be able to read it and then perform it. And Mabel is one of the best readers of dialect poetry that I've known. And so I thought that perhaps this would be a new experience for you and that you would enjoy seeing her and hearing her perform it. So I decided that I would come today just with my hat on as we've and agreed okay. that every time I come, I have to have on a hat. Right. And so, or I have to have my head covered. So for you, <laughs> I have my head covered. Right. Thank you. And so I am here to be Mabel's agent. Okay. And to adorn your set. set with my beauty. You got it. So Mabel, will you do the poem now in dialect? It's called... When Melindy Sings. It's okay. by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who okay. wrote in both Negro dialect and English, regular English. Okay. So, go away and quit that noise, Miss Lucy. Put that music book away. What's the use to keep on trying if you practice to where you're great? You can't start no notes of flying like the ones that rants and rings from the kitchen to the big woods. When Melinda sings, you ain't got the natural organs for to make the sound come right. You ain't got the turns and twistings for to make it sweet and light. Tell you one thing now, Miss Lucy, and I'm telling you for sure, when it comes to real right singing, tain't no easy thing to do. Easy enough for folks to holler, looking at the lines and dots, when there ain't no one can sense it. And the tune comes in in spots. But for real melodious music that just strikes your heart and clings, just you stand and listen with me when Melinda sings. Ain't you never heard Melinda? Blessed soul, take up the cross. Look here, ain't you joking, honey? Well, you don't know what you lost. You ought to hear that gal a wobbling. Robins, locks, and all them things. Hash they mouth and hide they faces when Melinda sings. Fiddling man just stops his fiddling, lay his fiddle on the shelf. Mockingbird quit trying to whistle, cause he just so shamed himself. Folks are playing on the banjo, draps their fingers on the string. Bless your soul, forgets to move them when Melinda sings. She just spreads her mouth and hollers, Come to Jesus, to where you hear sinners trembling, steps and voices timid like a drawing near. Then she turns to rock of ages, simply to the cross she clings, and you find your tears are dropping when Melinda sings. Who that says that humble praises with the master never counts? Hush your mouth. I hear that music as it rises up and mounts. Floating by the hills and valleys, way above the barren sod, as it makes its way in glory to the very gates of God. Oh, it's sweeter than the music of an educated band, and it's dearer than the battle song of triumph in the land. It seems holier 
than evening when the solemn church bells ring as I sit and calmly listen while Melindy sings. Tassel, stop that bacon, hear me? Mandy, make that child keep still. Don't you hear the echoes calling from the valley to the hill? Let me listen. I can hear it through the breath of angels' wings, soft and sweet. Swing low, sweet chariot, as Melinda sings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So that's poetry in dialect. Written in Negro dialect. So look at it, Paul, and see if... I was trying to read it before we went on, and she pulled it away from me. She said, you don't know what you're reading there. <laughs> <laughs> Though, I tell you what, I so enjoyed watching you also, Mabel, the facial expressions <laughs> and the movement of your body. Uh, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I so enjoyed that. I appreciate both of you coming out here today. And really, you need to, you're listening to it on the radio, but go watch it on the web. Go to kbia.org, then click on talk shows, and then Radio Friends, and watch this segment. And the, the expressions on her face are <laughs> priceless. So how long have you been doing this? Oh, since I learned uh, to read Paul Arnes Dunbar when I was small. My mother mm -hmm. used to encourage me. To read in dialect. Well, to read the poem, and yes, yeah, it was written okay. in dialect. And I don't ever, I don't ever remember necessarily. He has some other poems now that are written in dialect that <laughs> you really have to work on. He has one though. It's so long you can't do it on a show. I don't think, but it's called the party. You know the one where the man falls in the fireplace. It is hilarious. So, did you speak in dialect a lot? I don't know, Yvonne, do I speak in that now? <laughs> Every now and again. It kind of depends on, depends on <laughs> yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having oh, us. And, and please come back again. Okay. Will you? Okay. Sure. Yvonne, sure. you know the door is open to both of you. Sure. Uh, Monday, we're talking with uh, Laurento Lawson Youth Empowerment Zone. Our program, directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio with Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Sifan Alyong, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. So how would you say in dialect, we'll see you Monday? See you. Oh, okay. <laughs> see ya. Well, bye. <laughs>